Hello. Hello. Good morning. <clears throat> this is Firewatch. Oh, grief. All these months of sleep really take toll on your body. Press A to start. A. Uh, let's have a look at the settings first in case there's something that gives us subtitles. Display subtitles. Look at that. Why is not that on automatically? Uh, left button, right button, controls, invert Y axis. Thank you. Should be able to just crack on now with the with this and not have to worry. I like the sound. I like the sound. New game, empty game. Yeah, we'd have an empty game, please. Ooh. Pardon me. Oh, no. Is this going to be one of these story games? I, I know nothing about these things. I'm just sort of sat down, put things on. Uh, see where they go. Boulder, Colorado, nineteen seventy-five. I was I was four years old. You see, Julia. Never knew anybody called Julia when I was four. I knew somebody called Julie when I was about 10, I think. I have to press a button. Oh, give me some prompt. Oh, what the fuck is this? She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby. See you, Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Oh, what the fuck is this? You are drunk. Okay. All right. Okay. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Uh, you slur the word major and it smells like Coors, you give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology. I wasn't struggling to understand what that word was. I was just like, I can't believe I'm reading a fucking book. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Oh, she's being sarcastic. What a cunt. Was that a burn, you ask? Did people say burn in 1975? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you were Julia's boyfriend. Ah, oh, fuck, what is this? All right, okay. Right trigger to use objects. Backpack. Okay, so I can't use the brush, I can't use, can't use the bin, right. no buttons, oh, something zoomed in, so that's left button zooms in, is that my truck? Well, the person who parks in number four, if it's allocated, just left some stuff there. So 
So apparently, half a cheeseburger gets you a girlfriend. Is that right? Truck bed, load gear, right trigger. Did you just take that off your back? Oh, fucking hell, I want to shoot myself. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. <sighs> Julia wants to get a dog. Okay. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. So this is a choice, is it? Well, we'll go for Mayhem. Thank you. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Thank you very much. Mayhem is a friend, child and pet all rolled into one. Nineteen seventy nine. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, nine thirty PM and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? she asks. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. Yeah. I'm saying if you and I have some a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? Uh, you get to spend more time with them if you have them sooner. That would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. Okay. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Without knowing whether or not I'm what sort of time frame I'm in, I don't know how to proceed really. Fire danger. Okay, so it looks like it's quite a high fire danger today. Because somebody has... I mean, is this automatic? Or does somebody have to come out and manually move that? Right. Not a fair trail ahead. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. So what's an inexperienced hiker then? Somebody who hasn't got a lot of common sense. Learn to live with bears. Of course, yes. Okay. So what's this box? Nope, nothing. Okay. some reason we're fading to black because he just passed out i mean it's a thursday night and julia is four hours late she doesn't call you're worried and getting angrier by the minute she walks in after you've gone to bed she's not quite drunk but she's clearly been having a fun time you fight when she gets between the sheets you get mad you ignore her What's the worst thing to do? Not give them the attention they crave or get angry. Ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. 
Okay, good. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make coffee and go to work. Okay, so this is just a... <sighs> Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. Was He-Man out in 1981? You frolic like a victorious secret model. Okay, so it's going to be He-Man. Even I'm not sure. Was he out in 81? Okay. You look awesome. Oh, you look awesome. I have the power. Right. So, sun is going down, all the place is burning. One of the two. What's this say? Two forks look out tower. Eight more miles still. A to climb over obstructions. <clears throat> During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. All right. No information with regards to the marriage or children. What's going on here then? There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May my move fuck the, the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. Let's beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes up before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Ah, uh -huh. nineteen eighty-four. Plans to have kids get late or get late. Plan to have kids get waylaid by work. Okay. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, two thousand miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Well, it's up to her if she wants to commute back and forth. I ain't fucking going anywhere. You ask her if she commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Well, you're not having kids anyway, are you? Um, Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She, is f she was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. It's best not to forget stuff. Okay. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Okay. 
Right, I can't move. I've got limited vision. And the only thing I can do is pick up a journal. Okay. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to university. 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has been has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care at a home. It sits with you for a couple, for a couple months. It sits with you for a couple months, a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Okay. It's always best to be with that person because otherwise you'd be thinking about what's happening when when she's not around. So let's do that. Let's go back the way I came because for some reason... It started me off midway from somewhere. Okay. Ah, look at that. Oh. And it's gone. Okay. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. <clears throat> Understandable. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Well, you shouldn't be doing that because you know how ill they are. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Put a chair. In. Oh, that'll be scary for her. Put a chair in front of the door. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge, huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple of, a couple nights a week. Pardon me. You look forward <clears throat> to those nights. One night you are stopped at a DOI checkpoint. You blow a point 
one oh and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister in law Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Thanks. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you visit Toon. You don't argue. You'll say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Is this where the game starts now? Is this... Are we are we are we getting there with this interactive thing? Enter the lookout tower. Have we have we gone past the hall needing to read my own backstory? One thing I've learnt from games is when you start somewhere that's like midway always see this always try to go back to see what you're missing in case there's something that they've hidden there um and there isn't so far, so far. Okay. So, is there a button that makes you run? Is that what... I'm pressing the buttons and it looks like they're kind of running at some point. Yeah, that looked like a... a Definite sprint. All right, what's this? Okay, nothing. Right, okay. What I'll do then is I'll go back to where they wanted me to go back. So the character had a girlfriend for a while. Didn't say whether they got married. They were talking about getting married before having kids. Uh, he's all the way out in Australia now because the parents have decided to take over. You did quite a lousy job of looking after her. According to them. Oh, what was that? It was weird. There was a definite. There was a weird dialogue thing there. Okay. Right, hop over. I don't need to, and they want me to go up here, so. Right. Okay, so that's blocking your path. Door, open, right trigger. Turn on the power. Radio, pick up, light switch, flip. Can't, because we've got to turn on the power. So the light switch will Hello Two Forks Tower. <clears throat> Spoke over that. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Okay. 
Oh, you got right. Right to trigger the select dialog. Um, hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. What the, what the, what the fuck is this? You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling again. What the fuck is this? Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Uh, okay, this is a bit fucking weird. Pick up radio. Hold left trigger to activate radio. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Locate round thing. Yep, map table. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi... What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I don't know which one's west. Ah, oh, use compass. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yes. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do you think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Right, I've got to find a rope. In a box. Is that the box? Supplies. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What? Right. 
Open right trigger. That was door. What? Right, I can't find anything that I have to use a code for. So maybe that was that yellow box that I went back for. Okay, right, okay. I'm going to give this about five, ten more minutes before I declare uh, just fucking insanity. Okay. Tum -tum 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 -tum. Read map. Zoom in, left button, find rope in NFS cache box 306. Left button, zoom in. Right. Okay, I think that's where it is. There. Okay. Lower map. Um, right. Is this it? Supply cache open. One, two, three, four. Old rope take. Deal with whoever's Supply cache close. Do you lock it up again? Right, okay. Deal with whoever's setting fireworks. Now then. Right button, but right button. It's not. Okay, let's just go. All right, so I head in that direction, the direction of the fireworks. Right, rope hook. Okay, attach rope to right trigger. Okay, what? Ah, where's? I had the rope. Previous reply. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Right. Did I not grab the fucking rope? How, how do I... What? How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Right, why aren't I having instructions on where the fucking rope is and how to do it? Hey, I'm going the right way if I'm at the shale slide, right? Toward the fireworks? You're not lost. Those fireworks are going off to the west of you. It's down the slide and across the meadow, okay? Why why isn't this giving me the option of choosing the rope? Oh, 
Oh, it's this side. Oh, fuck off. Stupid fucking game. Rappel. Okay. Report claiming incident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Port Meadow. Fuck sake, man. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. So I I just gotta keep having dialogue. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans, they threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Okay, backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Okay. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Ooh. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Bundle of fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Uh, stay for later, hold B. Okay, pick up the fireworks, right trigger. Save for later, hold B. Okay. What am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to... Find, carry on, find them? What? <laughs> A bra. Okay. All right. Are these pants now, are they? Uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Oh, examine the panties. Another bra. There's a ooh. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's you know two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Who's 
guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boombox. Can we go? L let's just swim to the other side of the lake or something. Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Find a way back to Two Folks Lookout. Okay. Let's. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I've kind of seen about enough. Two pairs of clothes. do that then. Campfire! Let's drop the boombox. Ah. Pick it up. Stomp it out. Put the fire out, yeah. And talk about it. I thought I have stomped it out. It's giving me the option to stomp out a fire that's been stomped out. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right. Let's run. Report Meadow. I thought I'd done that. Ah. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. All right, so I gotta get. All right, that's north. All right, okay. Pop over. It's north this way then. What's this? A raccoon. Pears, pears, pears. Yes. What? What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. Um. Not sure where to go now. Uh, I think I'm stuck. Uh, okay. So I have to kind of go back to the lake and head north. Climb up. All right, let's run. Right, so head north this way then. Trail sign to Forks. 
hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Right. Got it now. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Run. Uh, climb up. And run. Okay, and climb down and climb down. Go as far as you can up the river to check it out, in case there's something there. Ah, okay. I don't need to have gone that way, so I could just come. Yeah, just carry on. Confession to make. I'm finding this thing confusing because if I don't reply in time, it just seems to go away. Like I've lost the ability to continue my conversation. I just see that that makes no sense to me at all. Ooh. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Well, this is fucking cheery. Uh, <coughs> supply cache. Let's open this, shall we? Uh, try again. One, two, three. Oh, copy information. Ah, oh, I didn't do that in the last one. So right trigger. Map updated. A flashlight take. Doesn't work. Okay, it does work. Horns pick up. Horn. Ah. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Right, okay. So toggle... F it's... Uh, examined? Or drop. Toggle flashlight. Right. So I'm assuming you've got a What's hmm. this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So So I say fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. All right. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. Hello? Hello? 
It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. <laughs> There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Okay. Right, okay, didn't need to take a run up there. That was that was weird. I think this is where the guy was. Let's climb up and climb the rocks again, again, up and up and up. Okay. Oh my god. Right. Mantle. If I'm putting the antlers down in order to climb the rocks why can't i just put the antlers down permanent let's bring the map up see where we are oh i can't hop over so i'm gonna get lost now because Okay, that was, that was a bit weird. Right. I, won't, I won't put it on if I don't need to put it on because there's probably going to be something about batteries, isn't there? Climb rocks. Trail closed sign. Damn it. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Outhouse. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Why? What's the generator? So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Okay, let's get back to this... Tower. Oh. Uh, what can I do for you? 
But my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. So, can I not pick things up because I'm holding onto an antler? If I drop the antler, I can go back and get the typewriter, but I'm going to drop the antlers inside the room. Poor vandalism. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place, threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Right, let's drop the antlers. Um... Go get the tight right there. Go back up. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Right. Okay, day two. Can I not pause this then? Right, okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Right, I'm pretty sure I did go north, so I gotta try and find that cave again. Do you know what? That is it. That's that's me done. Um I I'm very intrigued as to what this is about. Uh I'm tempted to play it rather than just watch something online somebody else's playthrough. Um yeah yeah this is this is quite interesting yeah I'm, I'm yeah it's got it's got me i think it's got my curiosity i think i'm it's a good chance i'm gonna yeah i'm in that kind of this is quite interesting it's <clears throat> giving me lots to think about yep yeah, I'm going to pursue this one. Okay, that is it. Video's going to end now. I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed by this. Yeah. Goodbye.